All right, give me a second, children. Good. Not good. I'll find the happy medium on the sound system here. Yeah, oh, that's not too bad. Hello. 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 Ding dong. Good almost afternoon. Good almost afternoon, Mr. Shane. Um, Shane. I yes. Okay, I just need to make the general statement. Please keep your chatting comments appropriate and you know applicable to what's going on in class. Um, I just looked at your comma work, I think for a positives and like you, maybe we should like try to do a zoom at some point you and I and I can help you with that one. I think it was the a positive one. And you're just not understanding what you got to do. Okay, so uh, what like uh, eighth period maybe? Maybe eighth period today. You want to okay. join my um, come to the sixth period Zoom? Use that link. Okay, sounds good. And if I and if I forget, um, just shoot me an email. And maybe I'll catch it. Okay. Okay. Um, note to self. There we go. All right. So today, what we're going to do? Um, first of all. Those of you in the room, if you haven't turned in your paragraph yet, you need to just put it on the side of your table and I'll come and get it. Those of you that are totally remote, if you haven't sent it to me, you need to. Um, honestly, it's an easy A. The lowest grade is like a 75 and mostly because I did the graphic organizer with you and all you have to do is take that information and copy it onto a paragraph. So, you know, I'm taking points off if you miss punctuation and capital letters and things like that. Um, but today we're gonna shift gears a little bit. Let me just take attendance. Shane is here. Adrian is here. Sherry is here. Rody. Daniel's in the room. Devore. I knew there was somebody else out there in Zoom land. Gracie's back. How you feeling, Gracie? Good. Okay, good. I'm glad to see you back in the room here. All right, so we are going to shift gears today. Um, so I'm going to take a little break from doing short stories and multiple choice and paragraphs, and we're going to do some grammar work. We're going to specifically this week work on something called parts of speech. Has anybody heard of parts of speech before? Have you ever heard that term used? No. Anybody in Zoom land? Okay. So parts of speech are just that. They are parts of speech. They are parts of the language that we use. So much like you have a bicycle that has different pieces to it and different parts to it, like a pedal and the wheel and the chain and all and the handlebars, right? They all have a job. Words have different jobs to do. Okay, um, parts of speech consist of things like nouns, verbs, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, yeah, that covers about most of them. Okay, um, so we're specifically going to learn about that. Now, here's the thing. When we come back from break, we're gonna do a poetry unit. And the way I have you write poetry, you kind of need a handle on the parts of speech because I'm gonna give you like structure to work in with your poetry, okay? And some of them you need to reuse down. Sometimes you need verbs and blah, 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 blah. So it would be good for you to learn them now. The other thing is, as you get older, you have to take a language, Spanish, French, Latin, whatever is offered, you have to take another language. It will be way easier if you understood what parts of speech are in English before you had to do them in Spanish or French, or Latin, okay? All right, so what we're going to do today, and hopefully it will go okay. Um, my first period class was a complete disaster because things were not working. Um, second period went better, fourth period went way better. Hopefully sixth period will even be better than that. So 
Let me share my screen. And we are going to be using Nearpod. So I need for you to go to nearpod.com. N-E-A-R-P-O-D. Yeah. I'm on my phone, so I cannot do Nearpod. Here's like okay, that. Well, then you're going to have to just watch what we do and just watch. Okay. okay. All right. So um, nearpod.com. And I have a series of very short one to two minute videos that take a break and have you do some things with it. Um, and then the idea is that we're going to like watch these videos, learn about the parts of speech, and then we'll do some like matching and a couple of games later in the week. And then there'll be a quiz at some point. And then maybe next week we'll play another game, keep, you know, with them all together kind of thing, if things go well. So the first thing we're going to learn about are nouns. Does anybody know what a noun is? Person, place, thing, or idea, okay? So if, not if, um, unless you're on a phone, could you kindly join the Nearpod with this code? T is in Tom, J is in Jost, Q is in Queen, D is in Dictator, K as in Hookie with a K. Hookie Kite, how about that? There's no numbers on it, so it's all letters. And it's up in the left-hand corner of my screen. At first I thought, you know, this is pretty dry stuff. And I know that it's not the most exciting stuff to learn about, but you do need to know it. And at first I thought this guy was kind of like a boring person, but he's kind of a goofball, especially in his outtakes at the end of the videos. Okay, so who needs more time? Everybody in Zoom land okay? Out home? I only have, yes. okay, here's 10 people. Yeah, I was looking for how many people were doing. I gotta see how many people are in class today. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I need four more people to join. You can't use the bathroom. We're doing something live, buddy. I need you to join the, the nearby. What did I say, 14? Okay, so one person can't join because they're on a phone. And somebody just left. All right, I'm going to start. If they come, I'm just. All right, here we go. Tim, we're going to talk about nouns in just a minute. Okay, so which of these describes a noun? Is it A, an action word, B, person, place, thing, or idea, or C, punctuation mark? that shows strong emotion. I think Adi just told us what this was. You did. Woohoo, Adi gave us the right answer. Yoo-hoo. Okay, so everybody in the room got it right, yay. Um, the answer is a person, place, thing, or idea. Vicki, are you there yet? Yes. Okay, go to Nearpod, and in the top left corner of my screen is the code that you need to use for this particular activity we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna start the film again. Just a minute. Parts of speech tell us how words are used. A noun is a part of speech that names a person, place, thing, or idea. There are different types of nouns. A common noun is a general name for a person, place, or thing. For example, city is a common noun because it isn't specific. A proper noun names a specific person, place, or thing. So San Diego is a proper noun because it names a specific city. Proper nouns always begin with a capital letter. And also when I talk about proper nouns, I always pretend like I'm a British person so that I sound much more proper than I do ordinarily with my American accent. 
I agree. I agree. Oh, but now you need to be capitalized, Ace. Eh? I have a terrible British accent, but it's awfully fun to do. Thank you very much. That was great. Let's look at this sentence. Louisa kicked the ball. Now, Louisa is a proper noun because it names a specific person. Ball is a common noun because it names a general thing. And kicked is not a noun. Since it describes an action, it's a verb. Nouns can be singular or plural. Singular nouns name one person, place, or thing. It comes from the word plural single. nouns name more than single. one person, place, or thing. In most cases, you need to add an S or ES to the end of a singular noun to make it plural. For example, I have one dog, but my friend Jamie has two dogs. Some nouns have different rules. For example, the plural for puppy is puppies. Can you find the nouns in this sentence? Okay, so they're gonna give us a different one, but Jonah watched the clouds. There are two different nouns there. What's one of them? Drew? Jonah, is that proper or common? Proper. proper. It's a specific person. What, what's the other noun in that sentence? Clouds, proper or common? Common, sure. It's in any, you know, clouds. They're going to give you another sentence and you're going to have to write, type which one. So it says, which words in this sentence are nouns? And the sentence is, Shay rode the horse across the field to the barn. There are four nouns. Type them, please. Shay rode the horse across the field to the barn. There's four nouns, right? There are four, yes. Okay. Thank you, Chucky. Good job. Good job, Brody. Adi, good. Kenneth, good. Good job, Charm. Ryan gave me whether they were common or proper. Good job. Good job, Alani. Daniel, you on it? Good job, Shane. Good job, Adrian. Good job, Drew. Good job. Allison, good job, Gracie, good job, Biggie. Now my question is if uh, I'm, Ryan actually gave me whether they were proper or common. Daniel, you're entering them now? Okay. So Shay rode the horse across the field to the barn. The first noun we come across is, is it common or proper? Proper, it's a name of someone. What's the next noun in the sentence? Horse, common or proper? Common, what's the next one? Field, common or proper? Common, barn, this is the last one, I just gave it away, okay? This is a common one. Okay, so Daniel, that's why it took you so long because you were writing complete sentences. You only had to give me the words, honey. okay? All right. Everybody ready? Let's keep going. Today, we're going to talk about. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Some nouns have different rules. The plural for, the plural for puppy. The plural for, for puppy. puppy. The plural for puppy is puppies. <laughs> okay. So, the plural for puppy is puppies. That's a lot of alliteration. Do you want to leave the session? Yes. All right. I'm going to. Come up with another one. So give me a second. You'll have a new code to put in. So get your page set up. New session. 
Okay, the new code is five, I, Y, H, M as in Mary. Thank you, Shane, for that important piece of information that has nothing to do with nouns and verbs and pronouns and things like that. Okay, does anybody know what a verb is? It is an action word. I need you guys to join. Five, I, Y, H, M. I don't know. One would wonder what's taking you so long, Allison. Now I have seven. Are you typing it right, Satiria? Yay? I'm going to guess no, because Y-E is not yes. I, I, why don't you try reloading the page, honey? If you look at my screen, go to a little, you know, arrow in the circle and reload the page and then try the code then. Any luck? Okay, Shane, maybe you came in late, but when somebody wrote meow a thousand times, I said, please keep the chat, you know, relevant to what we are doing in class. I'm glad you got a haircut at Razors in Johnstown, but that's really not important at this moment in time. Bear, comment now. Thank you, Kenneth. All right, here we go, verbs. <laughs> Jumping, running, singing, and playing. Today we're gonna talk about verbs. Yeah. Yay! Which of these words is a verb? Why is it not expanding? Cat, sing, green. Or no answer. But answer it. Take a guess. Cat, zing, zing, sing, green. I said zing instead of sing. Thank you, Alani. Okay, so the correct answer most of you got is B, sing. That is an action, like someone told us before I asked this question. You should have known, and most of you did, that it couldn't be cat, 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 cat is a thing. It is a noun, right? Green's an adjective. No answer is just not acceptable. Let's not even try it. Let's keep going. Just a minute. A verb is a word that describes an action. Verbs are parts of speech. Every sentence needs a verb to be complete. An action verb lets us know what the subject or noun that is performing the action is doing. Jack plants a seed. Jack waters the seed. The seed grows. Verbs can convey the past, present, and future. Regular verbs follow basic rules to create the past, present, and future tenses. Let's look at the verb walk. For past tense, we add an ed, making it walked. For future tense, we add will, so it becomes will walk. Irregular verbs don't follow the same rules. In past tense, the spelling of irregular verbs changes. For example, Ricky makes a sandwich in present tense turns into Ricky made a sandwich in past tense. 
The subject and the verb of a sentence must agree or match always. When there is one subject, we usually add an S or ES to the end of the verb. But when there is more than one subject, we usually don't. For example, we wouldn't say the monkey swing. Since monkey is singular, we add an S to the verb swing, making it the monkey swings. However, if we're using the plural monkeys, we would take away the S, making the sentence the monkeys swing. Can you find the verb in this sentence? It's not the word verb. All right, the verb in that last sentence was can find. All right, now you need to identify the verb in the following sentence. Tarzan leaps from tree to tree. Very good, Charm. Good, Ryan. Tarzan leaps from tree to tree. Good job, Drew. Good job, Alison. Good job, Chucky. Good, Kenneth, Adi. Drew, you're in here twice, you're confusing me. Good job, Gracie, Adrian, Shane. Good job, Amani, Ricky, Brody, Daniel. I think that's everybody. Oh, Drew Basketball, he's in there twice. All right, I have no idea, but it's fine, it's okay. All right. You're missing this guy's performance now. <laughs> He's a goofball. All right. We're going to do it one more time today. We're going to do adjectives. Does anybody know what an adjective is? I know what an adjective is. What kind of, okay, somebody in the room said a describing word. Do you want to leave your session? Yes. Um, what words do they describe? Blah, 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 blah. Adjectives describe another part of speech. What other part of speech do adjectives describe? Adjectives. Nouns, very good. All right. Nouns. All right, hold on, hold on. Adjectives, here we go. Okay, new code. Q as in queen. C as in cupcake. Two J's and Jost three. Q C two J three. What's with the chatting today? Oh, thank you. I saw that you guys were doing a program. You took you took Shane's sentence about getting a haircut in Johnstown at Razors and you identified the nouns and whether they were proper or common. Good it. job. Like it. that's appropriate chatting. Yay. Oh, maybe. All right, I got seven out of 12. No, I still have seven out of 12. Well, here we go. All right, here we go. Maybe. Today, we are going to be talking about adjectives. Just a minute. How much do you already know about adjectives? A lot, a little, or not much? Those are your choices. You're right, a lot, a little, or not much. Someone second period told me he knew everything. And then when I started to question him about them, he did not know everything. He knew some stuff, but he did not know everything. I could not say I even know everything. Yes, sir? Sorry? sorry? You like that he's not over the top yelling? I think he's kind of goofy. I kind of like him. <laughs> I kind of like that he's like just a little goofy. Psych, <laughs> Brody. Brody said a little, maybe, maybe nothing, <laughs> maybe none at all. All right. 
lucky. You did. All right. So most people are like mm, either little or not much, which is okay. That's why we're doing this. Ken said a lot. Just a minute. The All right. The brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. It's a simple sentence, but I'll- Hold on. I'm going to give you a piece of trivia now. That sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog has every word in the English alphabet, at least every word, every letter in the English alphabet, at least one time. In art class, when you learn calligraphy, if you ever do that again, calligraphy is like fancy writing. You have to write dog quick, um, I'll jump over the lazy dog like a hundred times till you get it right. Just a piece of trivia. I'll bet Please. you have a clear idea in your head of what's happening. And that's the power of adjectives. Words that modify or describe nouns and pronouns. Quick and brown describe the speed and color of the fox. Lazy describes the temperament of the dog. Adjectives help us understand vital information about the nouns they modify. There are a lot of different types of adjectives. Quick, brown, and lazy are all examples of descriptive adjectives. Adjectives that tell us what something looks, feels, sounds, or tastes like. Compound adjectives are made up of two or more words, like a three hour wait or a part-time employee. Demonstrative adjectives like this or that answer the question, which one? Like, who wronged you, my son? <laughs> that one did. Possessive adjectives answer the question, whose, as in my baseball bat or their cell phone. These are only a few of the many adjective types you may encounter when reading or writing. But every adjective accomplishes the same thing, providing information about a noun or pronoun. Think about a character from a book or movie. What are three adjectives that describe them? Okay, so he said to think about a character from a book or movie. Do not spend 10 minutes thinking about a character, okay? If you can't think of a character on your own, Think of someone you know, or think about who was in his thought bubble with Spider-Man, right? Or you can use Mrs. Jost if you're really desperate, but please be kind with your adjectives. But pick a character or a person you know, and just write three adjectives that describes that person or character. Kind of like doing character traits, but this time you can do physical traits as well. That's good, Shane, but I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, sorry. Was I supposed to write the name of my character as well? well that would be helpful. Who are, you, who are you talking about? Harry Potter, like throughout all the Harry Potter movies. Okay. That's the second time I've heard about Dog Man today. I never heard of a Dog Man before. A book. Oh, I like that one, Chucky White Fang. Smart, quick, protecting. I watched that whole movie and everything. I just watched the movie. Okay, so Ken, I'm really confused with your answer. Who is your character? Oh, I, okay, now I got it. Okay, Daniel, um, weird doesn't tell me a whole lot. I mean, it, it certainly describes the Joker, but it doesn't tell me like how he's weird. In my classroom, in a normal year, you would not be able to use the word weird because it doesn't tell me anything. I have a list of dead words in my classroom listed. Weird is one, one of them. Like, you can't use that. Um, oh, Lorelai from Gilmore Girls, crazy. Funny, wise, and pretty. Yes, she is. Rude. Adi, who the heck is Shikamuru? Shikam, Shikamaru, who's that? Oh, Vicky, did you fall asleep? Thank you. All right, so we got the idea for that. Very good. Let's keep going. 
Oh. All right. So we only have a few minutes left. So here's what we're going to do. Look at my screen, please. Uh, let me get a text box. I haven't collected your paragraphs yet. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make up a list of nouns. Can somebody give me a word that is a noun? I can. Drew? Drew? Yeah. Okay, Chucky, you go on. Ah, uh, love. What? I said love. Love, true love. Give me another one, Drew, you ready? Pizza. You got one? Las Vegas, proper or common? Proper, so it's gotta be capitalized, Las like Vegas. Words that describe nouns. Yes, they are, but why are you playing again? Did I start the movie again? <laughs> that was weird. Give me another one, one more noun. Yes. Mickey D's, I'm not even writing the whole thing out, but I'm capitalizing it because it's a specific place, right? Okay, let's try some verbs. This is just reviewing what we did today. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Okay. Run. I think I heard somebody say run. Okay, what fly. else? What? Fly. Fly. Sleep. Eat. What? Eat. Yeah. Walk. Jump. Jump. Not, oh my goodness, I'm making a whole new word. Walk. Jump. Just a minute. Swim. <laughs> lunge. <laughs> uh, lunge. All right. Here's a tricky one. Adjectives, and I'm going to abbreviate. ABJ, give me an adjective. Yeah, Drew. I don't know what you said. Adi. Raise his hand. Huh? Green. Kermit's green. It's not easy being green. I don't know what somebody in Zoom land said. Say it again, please. I said raise his hand. Raise his hand. Well, is that an adjective? No, 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 no. Like I'm I wanna I wanna answer. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> uh um wise. Wise would be one, yeah. Oh, what did I just do? You moved something. I did. I was trying to expand it so it'd be better. Obviously, that didn't work. Oh, there you go. Well, not really. All right, we'll just come over here. Hold on. No, you had it because when you click on it, then click the moving tab in the top left corner and you can move it. Well, I was what? trying to, but I won't. I can't see it on my screen when I move that. All right, just shout them out. Give me some more adjectives. Just shout them out. Yellow. Purple. Purple, red, Purple. yellow. Green. Yes. Blue. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Why are you all naming Okay, colors? like all the colors of the rainbow. I got it, Drew. And more. Oh, Amani, what's, your, what's yours that you're going to say? Alani? You said you had a good Optimistic. one. Optimistic. Huh? Optimistic. Optimistic. Do you know what that means? What's optimistic mean, Alani? Good word. Oh. Yeah, someone who is hopeful or some, not necessarily hopeful, but somebody who sees the good, like you could look at a situation. The glass is half full. In it. Right. You're optimistic. You think things are going to turn out well. My husband's kind of the opposite of that because he's a troubleshooter kind of guy. So like, he always gives me the bad news first. It drives me out of my mind. It's like God, <laughs> some good stuff. All right. So here's the deal. Um, that went pretty well today, Mike, I think. Um, we are going to be doing some more of these little videos tomorrow, and then we'll do some more activities.